I'm Nithya Das, legal counsel at AppNexus. I first started working with startups when I was at Goodwin in their Boston office and got, I think, a little bit bit by an entrepreneurial bug and just decided that I wanted to um, sort of, you know, be on the other side of the line and, and working um, at a company rather than just as an outside advisor. Early stage entrepreneurs tend to have the hardest time understanding um, legal concepts related to their equity. Whether it's understanding what percentage of the pie they own, what rights their investors may have going forward in terms of anti-dilution. And so as a legal advisor to, to a founder, I think those are some of the issues that you end up spending the most time on. One place that they could go to is certainly to, to their lawyer. If they're working with an experienced startup lawyer, I think those are questions that can be pretty easily addressed. There's also a ton of information out there now on the web, whether it's through resources like the Founders Workbench or just going, going into the, the startup community and, and talking to other people and asking other founders who've been through the process. The most successful entrepreneurs start off with a vision of building a great company and are able to successfully execute on that vision. Two resources that I think founders may not be aware of. Um, one, the National Venture Capital Association has a great resource of model legal documents, and they're full of really wonderful footnotes. And I'm sure that an entrepreneur has no desire to go and read footnotes, but I think that in any negotiation for a financing, it would really empower an entrepreneur to understand some of those concepts. You can ask your lawyer, but um, if you know it yourself, I think it makes you that much more likely to raise around on really great terms. The second resource, I think, is the community. Um, sometimes entrepreneurs think that if they share their idea with others, they may somehow lose their idea. But really, talking to other people within the ecosystem, getting feedback, um, those are the best ways to build on your idea and to really um, launch your company. The biggest fallacy in terms of succeeding as a startup is this notion that you can come up with a great idea, go out and raise money, and um, you know potentially have have a huge exit on the horizon. That's a just not not the way that it works, except for perhaps a lucky few. And it's also not um, I think it's not what your investors want to hear. And it's really um, it's really more about having having an outlook of trying to build a great company around a product rather than just um, sort of setting yourself up for for an early exit. As an entrepreneur, when you're going through the process of looking for financing, um, I think it's definitely important to look at who you're actually raising the funds from. Oftentimes, a founder may be um, sort of compelled to focus on, say, getting the highest valuation possible. But at the end of the day, that's, that's really not what's going to be the most important. It's going to be who are you adding to your team, whether in a board capacity or an advisor capacity, who share your, your similar long-term vision for, um, for the company and your goals and will support you in that process.